In this video, I'll show you how to set optional fields for custom opt-in forms and also for public forms. So first, let's look at creating a new opt-in form. So we're going to go to the website tab, then to custom opt-in forms, and click on create opt-in. So you'll give your opt-in a name, and right here is where you're going to set the optional fields. You'll see that first name and email are checked by default, and that's because those are required by the system. But you have the option to add a last name field and or a phone number field. So you can check what you want there, and then you'll scroll down and go to the next option, which is your autoresponders. So that's how to set your optional fields when you're creating a new form. So let's go look at an existing opt-in form and I'll show you how to change the settings there. So go back, click on custom opt-in forms to go back to our list. And let's click on this custom opt-in. And you'll see this one already has last name added as an optional field but let's click on phone number to add that one as well. You'll see when you do that, when you make that change, you add that extra field, this warning box is gonna pop up. And what it's telling us is that because we're adding that extra optional field, we're changing that, that we're gonna to need to go back and update these opt-in codes if you've already put them on uh, a sidebar or embedded them in a page. So go ahead and click on OK. And then you'll scroll down and click on Next. And then let's pop over to the Opt-in Code tab. So if you've added this custom opt-in form on your Coach's Console site, you'll need to go back and using your Content Editor icon, insert the opt-in code again on the page or the sidebar so that the changes are made. And if you're using an external website, you'll come here, click on Get HTML Code, and you'll want to grab that code, copy it, and then take it back to your external website and update the custom opt-in form codes there. So now let's look at creating a public form. So we're still on the Website tab. Let's go to Forms. And we're going to click on Add a New Form. We're going to give it a name. And then click on Next. And then let's jump over to the Forms Permission tab. And here you'll see those same options. We're going to click on this form is available for public access. And you'll see here that anyone visiting your website will have access to complete this form. And they'll also be asked to provide information in the fields below. So again, first name and email are checked by default because they're required by the system. We can add last name or we can add phone number or both. And then click on save. Now let's go look at another form and I'll show you how to change the settings. So let's look at survey, click on it, and we'll go to forms permission, form permissions tab. We're going to make this a public form so I can show you that option here. And again, right here is where you'll select which fields you want to be available. And then just click on Save to save your changes.